Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're checking out the Blade Fuge. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So last week we covered the AI grows and the glows. I did touch on the Fuge but I didn't fully dig into it. Now this little guy packs a pretty good punch for its size. Um, it is IP66 rated which is a big advantage of the way I have it currently mounted. But the kind of stock method, you got these expansion arms on it, and they do extend pretty wide, so it can go on a wide range of refugium sizes. So let's put on the tank, do a few part tests, and I'll show you how I've actually been running it for the last couple weeks. Now I created a scene for 100%. All right, so we got the par meter out, and this is the Apogee MQ510. And if I put it directly under the fixture, with the sensor just poking out of the water, we're seeing about 600 par. If I put it underneath the water, they were right around 400 par. So there's about 200 par of fall off just from going under the water, but 400 par is a ton for Chato still. So if I put it at either end of my sump, so if it's just underwater here, I'm getting around 287. Go to the other side, same thing about 300, and right in the middle, we're getting around that 406. Now if I come over here, outside of the range, no longer directly underneath it, kind of where the clear brackets are. Just at the water surface, I'm seeing about 180 par. So it does definitely fall off a little bit once you're beyond the brackets. You know, obviously under the LEDs directly have the most impact, the most punch. So we had 400 par just below it. Now this is not gonna be most people's situations, but I do have a clear polycarbonate lid for this. So I am kind of curious to see the difference of loss through the lid. Now this isn't exactly pristine and clean, there's water marks on it and everything else, but just for comparison's sake, I'm getting about five, uh, about 480 at the, the water surface through the lid. So I'm losing about 120 par by going through the lid. So how I actually mounted it the past week or two was underneath the lid. Now since this is IP66 rated, it is splash proof, it gets a bit of water on it, not a big deal. And that's why it's perfect to mount inside of the sump. But to do this, I actually use one of the clips that comes with the larger fixtures. Um, this is the clip that mounts onto the HMS mount. And I drilled a little hole through the lid and I did a little tap so I put the screw through it. And I put the little tiny HMS nut on the bottom. So basically just mounted it to the bottom of the lid. So this is a super duper easy way to mount it. It cleans up my sump area by not having anything on top. And it helps reduce noise, keeps the moisture inside the sump. So there's a lot of perks here. So let's put this on back to 100%. All right, now we got the lid on is mounted inside. Now being underneath the lid instead of on top of it, puts it at that extra inch or two closer to the water line. Now that actually adds quite a bit of par. So if I'm poking out the water surface, I'm seeing 630 par. If I'm just below the water surface, I'm at 520. Now that's a lot of par. So I've actually been running it at 80% instead of 100%, which saves me a bit of power and still gives me tons of light output. So let's put it back to the 80% schedule. All right, now this is the one, so this is at 80%, and it is at the water's surface. We're getting about 570, and just under the water surface, and get about 388 par. And that's, in my opinion, about perfect. It's actually been running at that on my sump for about two weeks now, and I'm seeing great growth. The Chato is growing like crazy. It's basically at the top of the water the whole time, and it's expanding out, kind of filling the chamber. And by running at this lower percentage, I'm also saving power. It's, it's only drawing about 16 watts at 80%. All right guys, that is my first hand experience with the Blade Fuge after a couple weeks of using it. Now, I love the fact that it's IP66 and I can mount it inside. Less clutter, less stuff above here. I have more power to my Chato with less wattage so it uses less power consumption. So all big win-wins in my books. So far, I've been saying the growth has been great. Um, definitely growing well and expanding feeling that chamber very quickly. I've already pulled some out when I but a week after I installed it and it's already replaced most of it. So, so far so good. And I'll definitely update you guys down the road once I've been using it, but so far I'm very happy with the Fuge Light. If you have any questions on it, as always, let me in the comments below. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. I'll catch you guys on the next video.